So I've got my little signal gen here, guys, generating at 12 hertz, 5 volt uh, square wave pulse, trigger pulse, to the uh, coil and plug assembly here. Uh, it's a three wire coil and plug, so of course it has a 12 volt, a ground, and a trigger. And the trigger is actually firing the uh, coil and the plug nicely here, as you can see. So um, the reason I'm doing that is I wanted to get a look at um, uh, the new Hantec scope I have here. It's a T01000 series. I wanted to see what it would look like with respect to displaying uh, secondary ignition traces. Uh, there's no fancy probe or anything, guys. It's only being picked up by the wire in proximity to the coil itself here, right? So um, I just wanted to show that kind of maximum definition. Not bad. Let me just, uh, I just want to shrink this a wee bit. Let me bring in the trigger and uh, I'm going to hold this. Let me hold that image there and uh, we can discuss this without the annoying tick of the plug in the background here. So what are we actually looking at here? How does this actually function? Again, the uh, this is the coil on plug trigger here, guys, not to be confused with the scope trigger. So this is the five volt trigger pulse that actually comes in. Of course, that would be provided uh, from the engine control unit in reality. Of course, the signal gen is a stand in for that and for this demonstration, right? So you can see here as we transition from zero um, to five volts, what it does is it turns on the internal uh, igniter, solid state switch, which is, which is within the coil on plug assembly here. And there's a primary current flow that primary current flow, of course, starts to build the magnetic field uh, in the system across the two coils and uh, for this duration of time here. So this is actually synonymous with the dwell time of the system, the width of the uh, trigger pulse here, right? So once the uh, ignition system has predetermined that it's reached its time to fire the, the uh, plug, and the trigger is dropped from five to zero, uh, volts at which point in time it turns off the uh, solid state uh, switch the igniter within the coil and plug assembly itself and it actually fires the uh, Fires the plug so this is actually the firing line right here So after the, the plug actually fires of course the spark has a duration, right? So this is the spark line and uh, This is the burn time if you will, right? So after the uh, spark actually uh, extinguishes you can see here that there's residual energy in the coil itself that shows up as the oscillations in the secondary trace here so turns on turns off magnetic field collapses fires the plug this is the spark time burn time and of course the residual energy in the coil all uh, all timed by uh, the uh, trigger pulse here right I can actually let me turn it back on, and I'll just alter the uh, the width of the trigger pulse here. You can see how it actually affects the display. Yeah, so I think you get the idea there, I guess. That's good enough. That's it. Cheers.